Hello everyone, I'm Valeria at Chase and & Paper and today I'm going to share another one of my favorites. These are coffee filter envelopes and they are made specifically to hold an index card. So these make beautiful little additions to any junk journal, like an extra little secret envelope to hold your writing card. You don't have to put the writing card in there. You can put bits and pieces of ephemera, whatever you like. But these are really simple to make and they use very minimal supplies that I'm sure you already have on hand. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's see how easy it is to make one of these. So we are going to begin with a coffee filter. This is a round coffee filter and it measures about seven and three quarter inch in diameter. I love the coffee filters for their uh, texture and they kind of sort of semi-transparent so you can see what's inside and I like that as well. So what I did for my project is I used coffee dyed coffee filters. So I went ahead and I coffee dyed these in, and they came out in various shades. Some are lighter and some are darker and they're going to be really fun to play with. I'm going to go ahead and use a coffee dyed coffee filter and I'm going to use an index card. If we look at our prototypes, as you can see, you can make horizontal envelopes and vertical envelopes. So these uh, have a look of more like a, um, a coin envelope and these look like your standard um, card or mailing envelope. Right, so let's try to make one of each. I'm going to begin with the horizontal envelope. So I begin by putting the card, my index card in the center of the coffee filter. And then I'm going to move it up just a bit to about right here. I'm not taking any measurements. After you make a couple of these, you will easily find your placement. So then I'm going to bring the bottom half of my coffee filter up and I'm gonna put a nice crease there. And then I'm going to make the creases on the side right here. And it's really easy because I'm using my index card to fold it so I know the size is going to be exactly right to fit that index card in. So I'm putting my little creases in there. And next, let's open it up and bring this little lip here down like this. It's about um, three quarter of an inch right here. I'm bringing the slip down and folding it like that because this is going to give my edge some additional strength right here. And it's also going to provide me with, with a straight edge on my envelope when it's open. Right, so this is what it's gonna look like. And now, of course, we want to make another crease for the top of our envelope. There. Perfect. As you can see, there is no right or wrong way to fold it as long as you get your basic shape of an envelope. And now we're going to glue it. And I'm going to use my Scotch Create glue stick. It seems to hold the coffee filters very well. So first, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on this flap right here. And another one right here. Bringing this back up. There, we closed it. Next, I want to put some glue onto my lip to glue it down. There we are. And next, I'm going to glue the wings of the envelope inwards like that. So I'm only putting my glue up to here. I'm using this line of the envelope as a guide. So that's one flap and that's my other flap. And 
and that's it my wings are closed and i'm not putting any glue right here because i want these parts to stay um, open and there we are our basic construction of the envelope is finished and complete and we can move on to the fun part and decorate it so i'm going to begin decorating this envelope by using a stamp and I want to make sure that I do not stamp anything on the inside of the envelope. So I'm going to use a piece of scrap paper. This is just a page from a, um, a magazine. And I folded it to fit inside this envelope. So now this way, I'm only going to stamp on the, on the visible parts and nothing's going to go... Um, on the inside of my envelope. So I'm gonna start in the center and then I'm going to add to the sides. This is a very forgiving stem because it, it kind of consists of uh, floral vines. So even if I have a little bit of overlapping, it's still going to look good, which is why I like this stem for this particular project. So you have a collection of stamps look for something you know with the large area look for a big stamp that has a forgiving design there we are and i'm going to add some stamping on the back too as well And I'm going to continue decorating it. I'm going to use this paper napkin with birds and nests, and I think it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and separate it. All right, again, I'm using my piece of scrap paper to put inside of the envelope so that I do not cover um, inside of my envelope with glue. And now I'm going to go ahead and take care of this edge right here around the opening. So I'm going to tear this napkin. Right along the edge. And it would be much easier to do if I waited for my napkin to dry. But you know who has the patience? <laughs> not me. <laughs> so you just want to be careful not to tear into, you know, the areas that you do not want torn off. Now on the bottom of my envelope, I do not want to fold it because I want my back to be also prettily decorated. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it with my scissors. Now just be very careful, do not cut into your envelope because that's going to open your bottom. And you don't want that happening. All right, there we are. And I'm going to add a little bit of decor in the back. So again, this is our front. And this is our back. All right, so and now I'm going to add two postal stamps to the back. And I chose complementing colors with some blue and brown and gray, which is kind of a, um, the colors that we are running with for this envelope. And there. There we are and now i'm going to add one little sticker on the front because i feel like there's 
enough going on here already. Towards the left side of my envelope to kind of balance it out. There, and we are all done with this envelope. Front and back. Now let's make a vertical envelope. So we are going to need another coffee filter. So now instead of putting index card in this direction, we are going to flip it in the vertical direction, just like this. And again, we're putting the card in the center. And then you're going to bring your sides inwards like this. And like this. And bring your bottom up. Like this. All right. So now I'm going to get my glue mat. And I'm going to glue these flaps right where they are overlapping. There we are. And now the bottom flap. I also covered that with glue. And bring it here. All right, so this is what we have right now. And we just need a little more work on the top. So we're going to bring the top down, fold it down. Like this. So now you have this crease line. I'm going to use my scissors and cut right here on the end up to that crease line. Right, there we are. We can take out the index card at this point. And so you can go ahead and cut right here on the crease line. Cut these little flaps off. And there you are. Now, if your edge isn't perfect, that's okay. I like to reinforce it with either washi tape or a book page. Here I have an old book page that I'm going to use. And so I'm just going to tear a small bit and fold it in half like this. Now all you have to do is make sure that it's the right size for your envelope. I'm going to clean that up a little bit. All right. There. All right, adding some glue. Folding it in half and putting it over the edge and push it all the way in. There we are. So now our top edge of the envelope is reinforced nicely and it looks very nice and straight. So I'm going to make a bit of a collage here to decorate this envelope. There. Now I'm going to add this beautiful little angel. Okay. 
And here's another little tip for you. I use um, a Ziploc bag. You can use any size. I'm using the small size Ziploc bag. Just putting my hand inside and it helps me to stick that napkin exactly uh, onto the paper where I need it to go and not onto my hand. There we are. And next I'm going to add a little sentiment right here. And now I'm going to add a little sticker, little uh, green leafy branch to just add a little bit of a fresh color to this collage. There. Now for the top flap right here, I'm just going to decorate it by uh, using my stencil. All right, and by the way, I was using the stress oxide in vintage photo for this stencil. And here we are. I think it turned out really nice. What do you think? And I'm going to leave the back plain because I really like this coffee dyed patterns on the back of it. So I'm just keeping it as is. And now our envelopes are ready and there is only one thing left to do, which is make the index cards to go inside them. So here I have a couple of coffee dyed index cards. I'm going to add a bird stamp to the back of the card. Here we are. Yeah. Now there's a cute little bird peeking out from our envelope when we first open it. I like that. Now for this envelope, I'm going to stamp a sentiment on top of my card on this side. Aiming for the center. We are and I'm going to add a little floral wine near the bottom here there we go let's put this into the envelope and here we go so there we are friends Here's our simple and easy project. We made envelopes from the coffee filters. I think they turned out really nice. And what I love about this is you can decorate it in your own style. The possibilities are endless. And the texture is so wonderful and beautiful on this. I think it's really going to add um, something, something else that's fun and fresh to your junk journal. So please make sure to give this video a like and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber yet. I hope to see you next time and thank you for watching.